Now, police are looking for a person they had just received an alert about Tuesday. U.S. Marshals told me they learned about Luis Cruz Ramos and spread the word. Now, today I was in the Camel neighborhood getting more details about him. 3847 Murray Avenue in Camel, a starting point for police. Puerto Rican police had told U.S. Marshals Luis Cruz Ramos lived there, and his girlfriend had escaped a month ago, saying he had been holding her against her will. Nobody's answering now, but this is the place where the chase all started. Luis came out of his apartment, jogged out to the street. There was a white van here waiting, and he eluded police. He's going to run. He's going to run. All available, all available units. Neighbors along Murray Avenue saw that chase start just five minutes before midnight. Yeah. See, the car goes. An hour later, Luis was still circling his neighborhood in Camel. The 30-year-old was driving the white van and even banged it off a couple Camel police cruisers during the chase. Police were careful, knowing he could be dangerous. And it's be advised. I made contact with him on the phone. He said if he stops, it's on. Just be advised. Luis was on the run because police had learned about three arrest warrants from Puerto Rico and that he was accused of having sex with a person under the age of 16. The subject has a, some type, I believe, a rape warrant from Puerto Rico. So that, that's what originally that the, the police tried to contact him about. One neighbor told me if they knew about the charge against him, he wouldn't have been welcome and police were trying to flush him out as well. We knew that he was wanted through Puerto Rico and that they were willing to do a full extradition on him. All right, that's how serious the charge is. Again, I can't see these pictures enough. This is Luis Cruz Ramos. He also has two tattoos, a crucifix on his hand, plus his name, Luis, on his arm. If you see someone fitting that description, call police. It doesn't hurt to lock your doors tonight.